We are looking at a 2003 Toyota Highlander. And as you can see, it's got a problem. If you look down there at the check engine light, you can see it's blinking the VSC lights on, which sometimes happens when you have a misfire. But a blinking check engine light means that this thing has a misfire, specifically. Now, do we know what cylinder it's misfiring on? Do we know where it's misfiring? No, we don't know any of that, except we can feel that this thing is definitely continuously misfiring on one cylinder. And I suspect it's an ignition coil. The reason I suspect that is because nine times out of 10, when you uh, have a misfire that comes up steady, all of a sudden, one minute the thing's running good and then it quits running good and it just starts misfiring, it's an ignition coil. I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna fix this thing, I'm gonna diagnose, find the misfire, fix this thing, get it running well again in just a matter of a couple of minutes. So by the end of this video, I bet you, barring any major complications, we will have this thing diagnosed and running correctly. Okay, so let's come out here. Let's look under the hood. If you look at the engine, you can probably see it in the video. The engine's kind of shaking, trembling. It's not running very smooth. We're gonna get, we need to get under this cover. Now I've got the tools here that I need to do what I think this thing's gonna need to be fixed right in front of me. So I'm gonna pull this cover off by undoing these three bolts on the front really fast. Okay, spin our Toyota emblem to loosen the back of the cover. Throw the cover over there. Now you can see we've got three coils here and there's coils back in the back, way back in there. Now if it's any of those coils, obviously this is gonna take a little time. So I'm just kind of gambling here, hoping that it's one of these three coils up front. Now the way we're gonna determine whether or not it's one of these coils or which coil it is, is we are going to disable the coils one at a time by simply unplugging them. So I'm going to start over here and I'm going to unplug this coil and let's see what happens to the, the, the way the engine runs when I pull that off. Okay, so the engine slowed down. Engine speed dropped. What that means is that cylinder, that coil is working. That cylinder is firing. Okay, let's move to the next one. Okay, engine returns back to uh, how it started. I'm going to unplug this coil. Okay, the engine RPM's dropped off. Okay, that tells us this cylinder must be working. I'm going to go to this coil. Coil's unplugged. And look. It doesn't make a difference if it's plugged in or not plugged in. What we're doing here is called a power balance test. Every cylinder contributes to the overall running of the engine. If one cylinder is not working because there's a bad coil, then when you unplug that coil, or we could unplug the fuel injector, we'd get the same result. We'd get to where this is, this is, is not working. So what I'm gonna do is because I figured this was an ignition coil, I have an ignition coil. We were just lucky that it was on the front and not in the back. I'm gonna pull that out. We can throw that one in the trash. I've got a brand new one in my pocket. Look at that. Notice how the engine smoothed right out. That little bit of that little bit of trembling that we saw is now gone. Okay, the misfire's fixed. This car's repaired. Let's put the cover back on and ship it. That's all it takes to to find a misfire when you have a bad ignition coil. So if any of you are driving around and your car has a check engine light that comes on and that check engine light starts blinking at you 
and the engine feels a little shaky or the car feels a little shaky, chances are it's a coil. Now, are there other things that can cause this condition? Yeah, there are. There's lots of other things that can cause it, but the coil uh, like this on, on lots of different cars, this coil going bad is by far the most common failure. So all we really literally need to do is put that cover back on. Um, there's probably code stored. The check engine light is probably still on. Um, but we can, we can clear the code and away we go. This car is fixed. It's running a lot better. That's finding a misfire using a, uh, a cylinder balance test or power balance test. You can see how easy that is.